Hello everybody, Dragon here with some XCOM Enemy Unknown. All the pieces are in play now, as the uh, aliens have now unveiled their latest creation, the Sectopod. And we have gotten our first psionic warrior, who we will not likely be using until, you know, one of the three missions I actually want to use them on. Because she's a colonel. Well, no, no, never mind. I do want to train Buck Pilgrim now. But yeah, Buck Pilgrim is now our new psionic person guy thing and uh, we've also got side testing going on so uh, we should hopefully have another gifted one maybe not I don't know they're all kind of low ranks hope oh excuse me hopefully they will regardless we're just gonna keep on scanning doing a bit more base maintenance here there's no research going on because there's nothing to research anymore unfortunately <laughs> I do want to capture a muton elite alive maybe I don't know it's not the highest priority because well it he'll he's uh, gives you the armor research credit which uh, I've already researched all the armor. Pretty much the only creature worth capturing at this point is the Ethereal because he would help me with the uh, nuclear fusion stuff, but that's not... I don't know if it'll happen. Oh, hello there. Well, it looks like we've got a special mission going on over here. Bomb defusal? No, target extraction. All right. Uh, and we're gonna actually going to get a major heavy. All right. He's pretty majorly heavy, I don't know. We need a squad of soldiers. Yeah, yeah, yes. Alright, so it's a hostage situation in which we need to save a hostage, aka a UN official. Let's go ahead and launch the mission. And let's see if we can get, not Army Girl, get you out of there. We're going to see if we can get Buck Pelgrim. Booyah, baby. And, alright, first things first, though, we're going to have to, oh, Psy ability. Yeah, here's the Psy abilities. Pretty much the way you train your Psy soldiers is by making them use their Psy abilities. And the more they use them, the more ranks they'll get. So, Buck Pilgrim, you're going to be doing quite a bit of mind fraying. Unfortunately, we don't have any Psy boosting abilities currently. And we also don't have a piece of ghost armor for you. Well, I'm going to have to fix that. Also, another thing. Um, pretty much a commenter last time, I believe it was No Guy. Is that, is that how you pronounce it? I think so. He told me a terrible strategy that was to keep your heavy in front of everyone else and make everyone else slower. It's a terrible strategy and I will never do that. But it did give birth to a new strategy because it made me sort of rethink the way the way my heavies work. Pretty much the way my heavies work, in case you haven't figured it out yet, is I like to use them almost exclusively for the rockets. I like to turn them into rocketeers. So I'm going to edit my unit, give him loadout, and uh, we're going to give him some Archangel armor as soon as I can, uh, you know, get someone in here for that. All right, first things first, I need to unequip the someone whoever had the uh, ghost armor, not black cape. Who had the ghost armor? Was it Tyler Zagger? I think it was Tyler Zagger. Come on. Oh, oh, he's already on the mission. Who else had the uh, stuff? Was it, uh, alright, it had to have been 304 Destroyer, no? I know I've got two sets of ghost armor here. Where did the other one go? Who's holding out on me here? Was it Buck? No, it was not Buck. Uh, oh, wait, it was, I think it was Stray Dog. Well, damn, actually, I have to go into the barracks for this one. Of course I am! Alright, well, view soldiers. Let's go on over here in Stray Dog, and now we're going to get rid of your ghost armor because you're in the middle of side testing. You don't need no stinking ghost armor. The only armor that would help you is Psy armor, and well, we won't get that until we kill some Ethereals. Target extraction, and we gotta go all the way up here, see his face before we launch Lil JK. His face doesn't appear on low graphic settings. Oh! I think that was more of a burn on my computer than anyone else. Either way, though, here's Buck. And see, Buck used the ghost armor again. Mind fray and mind control do not take up a ghost, or do not count as an attack, so she can stay ghost actually. And beyond this, her equipment is up up to date. Everything's going quite good. You, we've got the uh, sniper shadow, and ooh, do I want shadow or the amorphical in here? Well, I actually think we're gonna get the Amorphical in here because he needs the experience, and this is a pretty simple shape down run. So, equip her with the old out of day shit that no one cares about. Laser pistol, plaza pistol, laser rifle. And I think uh, he's already got a scope on him, so we don't need to worry about that. And clear the unit, and let's go and get the Amorphical in here. I've said and a lot, haven't I? Oh, wait, no, the Amorphical is uh, testing, isn't he? Well, in that case, never mind. Oh, actually, wait, in that case, I actually have to go back and into the barracks again. God dang it. View soldiers, uh, where's the amorphical? Alright, get rid of your uh, archangel armor for now. There we go, I'll be a bit better. Alright, 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 here we go. Things are going a bit, things are slowly coming together here. For those of you new to my channel, well, this is how things generally tend to go. Me accidentally screwing this up time and time again. Alright, Armor Girl, for the last time, you're not welcome on this mission. I'm sorry, but you're a colonel. You really don't need the experience anymore. So, where is Shadow? Who is also a colonel, but I've got no other snipers on standby. So, wham, wham, boo-hoo. Cry all you want. 
All right, there's our Archangel armor. Congratulations, you've uh, you're you're getting the up-to-date stuff now. Congratulations, Army Girl. And where is Jonos? All right, so I'm gonna do something a bit crazy here, a bit unorthodox. I'm gonna be giving Jonos the Archangel armor. Now, what this should do is allow him to get better firing solutions with his rocket launcher. And uh, well, yeah, that's pretty much my sole purpose here. So yes, give him the uh, Archangel armor, hopefully th things should work out here. It's a bit of an unorthodox strategy, giving your heavy Archangel armor, but I think it's a good strategy nonetheless. So uh, I'm going to keep my support and this guy on the Ghost armor for reasons I've stated plenty of times before. We've got Goliath too, who I'm going to clear out here, because I believe Jacrylic is once again in working or order, and Lightning one is here as well. So we're going to go on over here, and we're going to save the civilian. Unfortunately, I think you need an actual XCOM soldier next to the civilian. I can't just send in Goliath 1. Excuse me, Tracrylic. And it's in Australia. Alright, alright, I can dig it. Begin the assault. And, oh my god, this place is burning. My god, I'm surprised. This, are you sure this guy is still alive? There's a lot of fire going on here. It wouldn't surprise me if we came by and he was nothing but ashes and cinder, but... Oh well. If he is nothing but ashes and cinder, then, uh, well, I guess we'll just grab an urn or something I don't know what am I even saying my phone is going off but screw the phone I'm actually not a big fan of this mission but uh, well we're gonna see what we can do here yeah 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 we need to confirm he's alive and then we need to do jack oh wow that wait are you sh are you shitting me oh no I just need to I just need to go to this guy and he tells me where the ally is I was about to say wait a minute there's something not right here how did I already find him? And he's right next to Big Sky. It was going to be the easiest mission in the world. <laughs> Unfortunately, it, uh, it appears as though that's not going to be happening. Oh, whoops, I forgot to trigger your flying. Oh, well, let me do that. Oopsie. Ah, whatever. We'll do it next turn. I don't think we're going to be encountering any, ali or any aliens until we uh, speak to Jackass McGee, the Ewan soldier guy over here. <laughs> Jackass McGee. All right, whatever. Naming doesn't make sense. Anybody who watches my videos should know by now that my nomenclature is the worst nomenclature in the world. Wow, we're pretty high up here. <laughs> I can't go any higher than this, which kind of sucks, but oh well. This is probably the worst mission to have <laughs> given my guy Archangel Armor for, but again, oh well. Wah, wah, wah. Either way, I'm going to get all my guys except for the heavy flying, although honestly, I think I'm going to get my heavy flying as well soon. Regardless, we're going to take you off. Go ahead and float on over the sedan. No one really cares. And we're just kind of showboating in front of this U.S. soldier. Hey, hey, dude, check out my sick gear that you don't get because you're a stupid U.N. soldier and not an XCOM soldier. Ha <laughs> ha. Uh, being a bit of a dick to him, but oh well. Yes, I am. One of our men who got caught in the blast when those freaks at the bridge. Look, we're in no shape to take those things out. If you can go grab Van Dorn, we'll get you back to your aircraft. Sweet. Wait, what do you mean you? What do you mean we'll get you back to your aircraft? What are you? What are you doing? Cutting me off from it? I could just run away right now. I could literally, you know, what I could do. I could pause, abort mission, and return to HQ. And uh, you know what? There's nothing you stupid UN types could do about it. I'm sorry. That's just the way it is. Oh, that's not tab. That's Q. Oops. All right, tab Y, tab Y, tab Y, tab Y. There we go. Just get this traditional stuff out of the way. I wonder what happens if she runs out of fuel over a sedan, or if she even can. Ah, my throat is getting really stuffy. And for once, it's my throat, not my nose, that's getting stuffy. All right, time to have my Rocketeer take to the skies. He won't be able to do anything this first time around, but oh well. Wah, wah, wah. All right, uh, well, let's go ahead and have you fly off right on over the uh, red sedan. Nah, I'm just kidding. It's not even a sedan. It's a freaking SUV. We've got Thin Men. Big freaking surprise, am I right? By the way, I don't think this mission can... I don't think it, these, uh, what are they called? missions can ever have anything more dangerous than Thin Man, just for the record. Thin Man, excuse me. Just for the record there. So, he's gonna go ahead and go in here, annihilate this guy. There's no need to use rockets just quite yet. I'm waiting until we can get some nice Thin Man, this Thin Man all clumped up and, and all that good stuff. Alright, Hover Shiv is gonna go on over, right on over here, right above the uh, convoy vehicle. And you're gonna have a nice shot on this Thin Man that's gonna kill. Excellent. This mission is going to be incredibly easy. I probably should have actually sent rookies on, in on this one. Because, again, these missions never have anything more complex than Thin Men. Uh, however, I don't know the consequences for losing missions like this. As I've never had to deal with them before. Uh, of course, why, uh, why did I even think you would have a squad site? I thought you were going to have a squad site for some, for some strange reason. But then I got smart. 
Alright, uh, well, either way, most people have fired or moved already. Buck Pilgrim, where am I gonna move you? Uh, I'm not actually sure here. I'm not gonna ghost you just quite yet. You're gonna hop on over this, uh, barricade. That actually was a very questionable decision. Um, hmm. Alright, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna send Buck Pilgrim over here. This is gonna be in full cover, and it's gonna be a lot better for him. And then, Tyler Zagger, we're gonna have him, uh, ghost. Ghost on up, invisible. And then I'm going to dash him over here behind this cover. He's ghosted, so the enemies won't see him until my turn begins next round, and by that time, it'll be too late. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, how'd you see my guy? He's invisible! Apparently this Van Born guy has the eyes of an eagle. He's just like, I can see you're invisible, man. Yeah, see? Alright, this overwatch it that oh, that's an overwatch kill! Booyah, baby! Uh never mind. Plasma pistols suck, I forgot about that part. Goliath, oh there you go, Acrylic is in here, he's here to back up. Save it, he only needed one damage, but he got nine, booyah. Yes, we know Van Born's over there. Not fair if I have all the fun. <laughs> By the way, this guy's your typical bro military guy, bro military spook, so uh, he's gonna be saying a lot of just like, I've got all this, I don't wanna have all the fun, you know, he's gonna be a cocky bastard while the rest of us are, uh, you know, over here actually trying to save his life. Alright, excellent. Here we go. Now he's Thin Man. Unfortunately, Tyler Zagger's no longer ghosted, so they're not going to charge me. Which is a bit lame, but uh, unfortunately I also can't use a, a rocket because uh, I already moved once this turn. But you can still kill a Thin Man. And you successfully kill a Thin Man right through the front window, right out the back window. Even though the trunk would have been whatever, man. Don't question the XCOM logic. Just roll with it. Alright, send Lightning Shiv up on here. Wow, we're just mercilessly charging towards these Thin Men. Nothing shall remain when I'm through with you, fools. And he's down again. I'm getting a bit more cocky than I'd like to be, but oh well. The cockiness is the spice of life. It's what... Oh god, that was a botched sentence. Spit everywhere. All the spit. My phone is still going off. Stop it. It's not important, at least I hope not. For all I know, then again, now that I think about it, it could be Barack Obama just being just like, we need you to save the universe. 75% chance to hit. I'm going to say take it anyway. I figured that would have been out of the shotgun's range, but apparently not, and I believe all the Thin Men might actually be dead right now. We just have to wait for this wall of venomous gases to pass, or I could just send Buck Pilgrim through. He's got the med kit, so he should be safe. And the phone goes off again! Stop it, phone, stop! I just want to play some games without you rumbling in the background. Stop rumbling on my pencil sharpener. It's, it's a bit of a... That sounds like a euphemism for something, but I swear to God, it's actually sitting on top of a pencil sharpener. Ugh. And, and, you know, people still use those, even though I actually don't use it. Sitting in my room is a bit more of a commodity than anything else. I, don't, I use mechanical pencils. I'm with the future. Don't worry, I'm with the future. Alright, well, actually, all, thi all this... Alright, alright, go ahead and say your piece. As I said... He's going to be the cocky bastard while I'm the one doing everything important. So I'm just going to send Buck Pilgrim down here. we got plenty of cover, so to fear not. And I actually kind of want to use these rockets a bit. So I'm kind of hoping these guys decide to clump up. And we do actually have vision on fourth Thin Man. Let's see how well they clump up. Yeah, yeah, I can tell. A lot of your boys appear to be a bit on the dead side. Alright, okay. Just stop talking to me. Why am I going all the way back here? Oh my god. Game, stop it. I know to take it back to Big Sky. Stop treating me like little Bobby. Alright, well, wow. How, how would you even make your rocket do that? Just explode in the middle of freaking nowhere. Well, unfortunately, I guess maybe I'm fitting him with the... As I said, it was a bit unorthodox. It was a bit of an experiment. And we're going to mind fray this guy. This will actually kill him. Yeah, launch a damaging mental... I believe it deals up to 5 damage max, although it doesn't tell you that directly. It also lowers their will, which allows the, for... um, What's it called? Allows for stuff. You know, complicated stuff. Alright, switch to the pistol. And we can use your ability to annihilate people from distance. 100% chance. 75% chance to crit. Let's go ahead and see how badly this thin man gets wrecked. By the way, he was in full cover too. <laughs> Which is a bit hilarious, honestly. Alright, you're just going to keep your head down. There's still two more living thin men. And, uh, well, I don't want to have to deal with, uh, with it in case you die. Alright, good. So you can move around here without jumping into the toxic toxicity in our cities. Um, alright, what I'm thinking is, uh, ghosting over here, and that is pretty much all of my plan. <laughs> Get him into a beautiful flanking position in case somehow we're not able to annihilate these guys the next turn. And he's not going to walk through the poison, so we're going to be fine. He's not going to be attacking during the Thin Man's turn, because I'm not going to overwatch him, which is why I did not run and gun. 
And he's gonna be over here into a flanking position again, just in case my unit my units end up sucking horribly. Alright, move over here again. You can't move very far because you're heavy, but oh well. <laughs> heavy weapons man is best man, I at least in my opinion. Alright, move lightning one up here, a bit slower, not too fast. I still want Tyler Zyger to get, get some action. You're gonna overwatch in case they try something funny, and I believe that should be the Oh no, Grillic, I almost forgot about you, man. Can you actually get down there? I actually think that might not be the best decision in the world. Just don't fall! I am very happy that those things have such extreme traction, because now that I look at it from another angle, that ain't gonna be too pretty if you fall down there, Dracrylic. Stay up here. That's the better decision here. And, of course, Overwatch with Jonos. If these thin men try anything, they're dead. Uh, he's gonna shoot almost undoubtedly. Shoot at the lightning shift. Go ahead, see if you can hit. Oh, shit, he hit. I, uh, I wasn't expecting that. And Talzagger is revealed. <laughs> yes, yes indeed, he's revealed, but it's a bit too late for the Thin Men. You're just going to go ahead and move right on up here. I believe one of the Thin Men has Overwatch, but I believe he's got Lightning Reflexes, doesn't he? Oh, no, he doesn't. Oh, well, a little bit of damage from a Light Plasma Rifle. Shake it off, you'll be fine. Probably should have ghosted again, actually, but oh well, it's a bit too late for that. And you've been poisoned as well. Well, taking, taking literally the worst route possible. You're still going to be able to kill this man. And we've got plenty of backup for the other Thin Man to be completely wiped the floor with. Uh, let me see if I can get Jonas into position for do to do that. Go, my friend, go! Might I just say how much I love Archangel armor? It's probably one of my favorite bits of armor in the we game, honestly. Yes, yes, yes. Shot at these bastards. Wait, are you going to join my squad or something? I'm not sh entirely sure what you're trying to say here, man. Uh, that was a very poor decision, actually. I should have just gone for the squad side kill, but I'm retarded. All right, Shiv. It's your job. You are the chosen one. <laughs> Gone, Harry, the chosen one. Oh wow, that's not something I ever thought I'd find myself re referencing. And this should be a kill right through the solid metal. Booyah! All right, all these guys are going to be dead. I believe we should be safe to move Van Dorn backwards. Yeah, yeah, I believe we are. All right, Van Dorn. Is it Van Dorn or Van Born? I don't really care, honestly. And there's no good cover for you back there, so we're going to just go ahead and dash you on over here. It's not the smartest thing in the world, as head down, I believe, confers plus 20 defense as opposed to the usual plus... I don't know, I believe it gives you more than hunker down. I believe so. Either way, though, we're going to move uh, Buck Pilgrim back here. She's not going to ghost, because that'd be a bit silly. And I believe I should start spreading out my soldiers. I'm probably going to want to move Jonos back here a little bit, you know, just to get him into a bit of a better position. More rockets can be fired that way. Alright, that's going to be the end of his turn. I believe everyone else is just going to overwatch. All remaining soldiers, uh, you can't overwatch. He's got a sniper equipped. Come on, can you just be smart enough to switch your pistol on my own, on your own, on your own watch? Oh, here comes a thin man. It's not going to, their initial movement doesn't trigger overwatches, I don't think. Does it? Oh, no, it does, I believe. Yeah, there it goes. Well, wait, are they targeting different people? No, they aren't. Uh, apparently that was a miss. Oh, no, that's just a different shot. Alright, we got a lot of live Thin Men over here, and poison damage, whoop to do get over it! Just get over it, you'll be fine. And, uh, well, we're gonna move you down here, and you're gonna be able to completely not- Oh, god, I keep on forgetting you don't have lightning reflexes! You fool! Why don't you ghost? Oh, well, last turn, last turn, yeah, I realized you couldn't have actually ghosted, but... This turn, I should have ghosted. I did not. Completely negating one of the most useful fa effects of the ghost armor out of pure stupidity. Oh, well. He's still alive. Everyone's still alive. Jonos is going to rack up another kill with a 100% chance to hit with the Heavy Plasma. I actually quite like the uh, Archangel Heavy so far. I don't know. Maybe I should just equip everyone with Archangel Armor because I freaking love this stuff. Alright, uh, beyond this. Now it's the uh, Lightning Shiv. You're actually going to stay over here. That's not staying. That's not the definition of staying at all, but fuck it. I'll just, just do as I say and you'll be fine. Just don't do as I say, do as I say. Okay, come on, don't, stop locking on, I don't care about your stupid character, quote-unquote character development. And shut up, phone, I don't, I don't care about your character development either. It's been rumbling left and right, I gotta tell you, hooking up my phone to my Facebook account may have just been the worst decision I think I've ever made. Alright, and of course you're gonna head down. And, oh, well, Jacrylic, you're gonna actually move back here a little bit. See if a thin man actually lands on you. I wonder if that can actually happen. I doubt it, because, uh, you know, it's kind of occupied. And here comes some more thin men. More weapon parts for me. Goody, good, goody. All right, well, this guy's going to be as good as dead as soon as my sniper gets a turn. Oh, never mind. Pelgrim already takes a... Wait, the support takes a shot. All right, there we go. That's good. 
one more thin man, thin man for me to take down with the sniper, and we should be good again. Or maybe I could just use a rocket launcher because I feel like it. Why not? Can I use a rocket launcher on this guy, actually? Would it be a smart proposition? Nope. I can't even reach him. Oh, he's actually outside of my vision range. Oh, well, that's a... Oh, poo. Alright, well, don't worry. I know what to do about it. I know what to do about this situation. I'm going to be smart. I'm going to engage Ghost. Which will make it so the Overwatch will not trigger because, well, the stupid Thin Man can't actually see me. So, where is the best posi pos position for you? Uh, over here. You're invisible, the Overwatch will not trigger like a boss, and can you mind for a yes you can, which also will not cause her to lose invisibility, and it'll train her Psy abilities a little bit more. Booyah. Alright, I don't think she's earned a Psy promotion yet, but oh well. You can't win them all. Well, everyone else here is going to pretty much just Overwatch, although I probably should have moved Jonas uh, forward a bit more. Except for you, Peter Van Dorn. I think his name is actually, uh, another voice crack. Apparently, I'm still going through puberty. Uh, but yeah, I think his name is always the same. I think this mission is actually exactly the same as it always is. I seem to recall doing this mission on this exact same place all, all the time, honestly. Alright, can Peter Van Dorn make it all the way to... Yes, he can. Alright, big sky, here comes Peter Van Dorn, and we made it. Excellent. Seriously, I wouldn't be here without your help. I wouldn't be here. Stop emphasizing your bees. Uh, well, he stepped foot on the big sky. Although, he appears to have not matched the evolution... Er, the, what? Well, regardless, in the mission. We're gonna go on home 21 minutes in. Is this going to be another two mission, or I, s I certainly hope so. Because it means we get to progress through the game faster and less episodes of just shakedown runs. Which is quite frankly what all these missions are quickly shaping up to be. Alright, here we go. We got Tyler Dice Zagger. He's earned his nickname of Dice at level captain. My god, how long? That's one damage critical hits for eight. Oh, whoops, you won't actually. Oh, I was thinking of aggression when I was talking about the last mission. Well, there's still plenty of enemies in sight. Now, do I want to get close quarter specialist? Yes, because Ghost Armor and close clo combat specialist. Well, it's a damn shame he's not a uh, a psi ability. At least not quite yet. But regardless, <laughs> whatever. What am I even saying? I don't know. We got another heavy. Uh, well, I guess I should probably bust out my list here. Heavies aren't actually what I need. I kind of need snipers, but whatever. I mean, declining that mission is just pure stupid. Stupidity. All right, V soldiers. Who is our new heavy? It's Emily Harris. Alright, well, we're going to go ahead and level you up. Uh, what am I going to turn you into, though? That's my question. Uh, should I just turn you into another Rocketeer, or should I turn you into another uh, Support Heavy? Because, uh, honestly, I think we're just going turn to turn her into another Rocketeer, only with hollow targeting instead. Because this has actually proven itself quite useful. J Lol, JK. With all the Archangel armors I've got going on over here, it, it, I take that back entirely. Alright, well, uh, well, we're going to give you, since you are the Rocketeer, going to give you the Shredder Rocket, going to give you Heat Ammo, because Overwatch sucks. And the Danger Zone. Booyah. Oh, wait, you're actually a major, so you also get the uh, will to survive. There we go. Alright, there you go. And now, how am I going to name you? Well, let me go and bust open my list over here. Everything's going to get really quiet. I apologize. Going over here, going to the movie making folder, XCOM names.txt. Alright, who requested to be a heavy? Nobody. So I can actually draw from the names of people who have not yet been used yet. Uh, Alright, looks like your name is Revan. If he's still watching me, congratulations. Alright, well, either way, let's go and customize. Your first name is going to be a period. Boop. And last name is Revan. Yes, there we go. Uh, no, there was no capital E there. Revan, there we go. Welcome to the army, Revan. If he's even still watching my videos, I know viewership tends to die off over episodes, but... Well, regardless, if you're still watching me, congratulations. If you're not, then, uh, well, shit. Oh, well, I guess. He doesn't get to realize that he's now YouTube famous. Oh, wait, no, shit, I did have a heavy. Oh, sh I, I did realize that. Oh, well. Uh, I don't know. I might feel like a bit of a dick. I don't know. <laughs> Revan, if you're still watching my videos, be sure to uh, let me know, and I'll change it back to your names. But uh, I forgot there is one person here who did, in fact, want to become a heavy. First name, Bryn. Second name, Tenkage. There we go. Uh, alright. Here we go, we got Brenton Kagi. He is the only other heavy, so I can now mark him off on the list. However, I accidentally set the mark off list and record button to the exact same button, so, uh, if I try to mark him off the list now, that's gonna be a bit of a catastrophe because the video is gonna end. Either way, though, it's time for some base maintenance. Looks like our council report is going to come in today. Maybe, maybe, maybe. I feel like the overseer ship's gonna appear. Incoming. 
Yeah, nope. All right, we got the, uh, here we go. We got a B. All because I let the overseer ship escape, but honestly, I did that for the better. It's for the better of the future of Earth, I assure you. Only mark the beginning of an enduring effort. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you ever shut up? I mean, seriously. I've got over 2,000 credits, and I've got nothing to spend it on. Oh, wait, hang on a second. I just realized I forgot to, uh, go over here, view, view ship list. Where was the demon? There you are. I forgot. I, I transferred him and never gave him, a, gave him the plasma can. All right. So we've pretty much got our demons maxed out. We've got, I, I guess I could... I don't know, do I want to go pure Archangel? That seems like a really bad idea. No, I don't, actually. That's a really bad idea. Um, wow, I don't know what to spend my money on. I mean, I literally don't. I, I could spend it on... I don't know what to spend it on, so it helped me. I still... Oh, I'm... Wait, what? I'm out of Illyrium. Whew. That's rare. I almost never see that happen, but all right. Another UFO should happen. Yes, the new engineers arrived this morning. Uh, yada, yada. Uh, we're actually trying to go into mission control here. Shut up. Oh, wait, that was actually a, uh, oh, that was a unique piece of dialogue there that I sort of skipped over. Oops. My bad. I, it feels really weird not building it. Hang on, I'm going back down to engineering. Engineering, uh, build facilities. We're going to build our second satellite uplink. Oh, shit, we actually need more power generators. Oops. All right, we'll build the power generator over there. Build that. That should be good. Excavate here so I can build my thermo generator, which is going to be completely overkill, but, uh, oops. Oh, well. Can I build anything? No, just power generators, because I'm all out of power. Uh, can I just kick the nuclear reactors into overdrive? Sure, it damages them, but... Oh, wait, I could have actually... Uh, can I cancel? <laughs> yes, I can cancel, actually. Uh, hang on. H how much do the thermo generators... How long do they take to build? I assume just five days? Again, though, I don't think I need that much more power. And there's another steam vent down here, so yeah, if we're thinking in the long run, then that sh or short run, short run, or maybe long, no, long run. Long run's what I'm thinking of. Side testing is going to be coming up soon. Nope. Alright. Oh, by the way, another thing I forgot to mention is that when we look at our UFOs here, thanks to the hyperwave relay, we can actually see their objective. This objective is final preparations. They're about to kick into the final gear of their invasion here, which is what the objective is trying to say. So we're going to scramble our interceptors. We're going to send in Demon 2 with the plasma cannon. He should be more than capable of shooting this guy down. He's got the, uh, what many consider to be the second most, although others consider it to be the third most because of the EMP cannon weapon equipped. And he is, of course, our best class of fighter in the game. Establishing Link. We're going to hover over the abort button because that's the only thing I can do. His ship is purple. Oh, wow. He's got a shotgun attack. Fancy you. Alright, well, either way, Firestorm should be able to hold on there. Excellent. There we go. Man, we shot him down, and now... Here's another thing. We can see their crew size, the species detected. We've got Ethereals, Mutant Elites, Sectopods, Drones, and Heavy Floaters. I believe that's what that's what the, uh, what's this called? Ship is fit, fitted with all the time. There's ten aliens. Its objective was final preparations, but they're kind of down now. And, uh, we're going to have to take care of these guys, although we're probably going to end up doing that next time, because we have hit 30 minutes... Seems a bit scumbag. I don't know. Do I want to go for this guy? I'm think. Do we? Should I? Should I go for more length? I don't know. Longer videos. I know. Pe I know people like the longer videos. So fuck it. Let's go. All right. Either way, though, we are going to have to do a, a few different things here. Either way, well, by few different, I of course mean replace his alien grenade with the arc thrower. Which I can't actually do right now. Also, actually, I think I'm going to bring in the colonels for this mission. So, uh, we're actually going to unequip these guys. I want my best men on this. Wait, what did I just do? No. E equip the bloody skeleton suit. You can grab a light plasma rifle as well. Get rid of your plasma pistol. And, actually, nah. Talon's dagger is actually pretty good. He's a captain. We're going to keep him on this mission. Fuck it. I can trust this mission in his hands. I don't know what I'm... <laughs> I've been really messing things up lately. Alright, get Goliath 1 out here because he's the easiest unit to get back. Where is the black cape? Alright, we're going to edit unit, load out, unequip her with the arc thrower, give her an alien grenade, and get her out of here. R uh, bring... Who else do I need to unequip? I don't think I need to unequip anyone else. All I really need to do was bring in the uh, uh, arc thrower this time around. So yeah, load out, arc thrower, there you are. Alright, so we got Major Jonas with the Archangel armor. Again, it's a bit of an unorthodox strategy, but I don't know. I just like... Un Honestly, I think you can just go ahead and outfit heavies with a, whatever gear you like. And personally, I'm a big fan of the Archangel armor over the Titan armor, so we're going to stick with this. I like his added hit chance, and as I said, it should allow him to get a few extra firing solutions with his rockets. Uh, these guys are the ghost armor is good. We got lightning. All right, yeah, I think we're good to go here. Colonel Shadow, Tyler. Yep, all right, let's go ahead and launch the mission. 
Screw it, two missions in one, once more. And it's time to go capture myself an ethereal. Uh, the, it'll be kind of useless now. The ethereals give you every single research credit in the game, which uh, currently I have them all. But the one thing that you can't get a research credit for is nuclear fusion, but it does in fact give you research credit for that as well, even though that one does not actually have a research credit as far as I know. It still has their research time. Sectopod is actually getting into a flanking position as- oh shh, uh oh. This could be bad, he mind controlled the uh, he mind controlled the support. I think Dracrylic might die again. This is bad!